Good morning. It's Monday, July 31st, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Pure, and our scripture is James, chapter 3. But the wisdom from above is, first of all, pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. You know some people, James describes. Remember them right now. Faces that evoke good memories, calm moments, full of reason and safety. You know the things they've done for you or someone else who didn't deserve mercy. You understand the strength of someone who doesn't show favoritism, always to be counted upon for sincerity and truth. You know a peacemaker or two, several if you're favored with eyes to see. James issues this descriptive love affair with wisdom, drawing on sweet memories of his older half-brother, Jesus. James didn't always recognize it, this wisdom. Along with his siblings and mother, he thought Jesus was a little crazy, what with all this radical preaching about new wine, loving your enemies, and camels squeezing through the eye of a needle. But there were those other telltale signs of pure wisdom, good deeds, mercy, and gentleness. Later, after the cross, the burial, and resurrection, James began to understand what he'd witnessed. The way his brothers submitted to the powers that be, the nails, the spear, and a lifeless side, which James couldn't understand. These were all revealed to be the seeds of peace. It was only when the great harvest of Pentecost appeared that James understood what his brother was doing. He finally saw wisdom in its holy purity. I knew a man who walked like that, filled with wisdom that was gentle and led to peacemaking. It was at a church I served as pastor many years ago. He arrived at the church a few years after I got there. I liked him the moment I saw him. There was a gentleness about Bobby Mack's way of talking with a genuine unpretentiousness. You felt calm next to him. It wasn't just me. Others saw it, too. I can be deceived easily. I tend to trust people until they prove otherwise. Some people come into your life for a reason. Why Bobby Mack's path crossed with mine became evident a few years after we met. His gift of peacemaking in a church with a long history of contentiousness, particularly with firing preachers, it was a welcome fresh breath of pure air. The church was grateful for his presence, and he was in leadership roles in no time. Shortly afterwards, though, his spiritual gift of sowing peace became necessary. Some decisions I'd made as pastor stirred some memories of what former pastors had done, and a group within the church decided it was time to stir the pot of pastor change. It didn't seem to matter which way I tried to reach out to meet folks halfway. Minds were made up, set in stone. Enter the Peacemaker, Bobby Mack. Some of the words he used were exact duplicates of some of the things I'd said to try to fix the relationship of pastor and people. But Bobby Mack said them differently. He sowed mercy with gentleness and sincerely trusted the truth to plow through any favoritism from either the pastor change group or my stubbornness. I cannot adequately describe just how Bobby did what he did without writing several books, but this one thing I can say, God was all over it. I felt like the Roman soldier who was staring at the way Jesus died on the cross. This man truly was the Son of God. (laughs) For you today, if you want the kind of wisdom that's pure and gentle and unbiased, peace-filled, and generating a harvest of peacemaking. It's available from the same one who is the author of the peace that passes understanding. 
Paul wrote about that in Philippians chapter 4. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So pray for peace that way and you'll bump into pure wisdom from above as gently and favorably as Bobby Mack. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.